Hi everybody, this is Urca Fresh, aka Blue Phoenix. It's a brand new day and uh, sun shining, but we're ready for part two of this setup. I've been working on this all night. Not really, but um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go back to part one of the tutorial series. We're setting up Sinfire. What I'll be doing in this tutorial specifically is setting up Contact and uh, Zebra 2 so that they will work super awesome in Sinfire. So right now I've just got this kind of a, a project I've been, I just ported it over into Ableton. I did kind of cheat and use Sinfire to get to this point. <laughs> but all you got to do is have some really basic stuff going on here. I'm not going to go into great detail on the project, but let's focus on this piano sound first. So I've thrown a concert grand in here and it's just kind of playing yada yada yada. So I'm actually going to just delete this contact here and get a fresh one. I'm going to get fresh with contact. Okay, so go to, here's the key here. You go to files and you do new instrument bank. Okay, now it's going to pull up this really funky looking thing. Maybe you've seen this before, maybe you haven't. But basically what we're going to do is each of these 127 slots here is a place for you to put an instrument you think you're going to use in Sinfire. So for example, I can go in here and uh, on my library tab in contact, I can just go grab this the giant. I can throw that in here. Bang. Um, let's say I also tend to use the concert grand a lot. I'll throw that in here. Boom. And I'll go grab like Alicia's key. So it's kind of cool to have a nice selection of pianos available uh, at your disposal. And uh, I'm just going to grab like, I don't really tend to I tend to use a lot of different things in here. I, I really love the piano in contact, but uh, you, you can throw anything you want on here. You can also go here in the file browser, and uh, you can you can go this way and find like the sound iron stuff doesn't install itself in the libraries, so uh, you have to find it in the files. But uh, I can go in here and say I want this. Uh, Voices of Rapture, the Soprano um, K5. And it's really important here to just pick the lightest libraries you can because uh, it has to load all of these things every time you start up Sinfire. So uh, the lighter these libraries are, the, the faster Sinfire will load. Okay, so now if I go back here, you'll notice it's pretty quiet. You can, you can barely hear the piano now. So one thing to do to fix that is you just double click on the giant and you can change its volume. If you hit the wrench, it'll go back. You notice the concert grand is a little bit quieter so I can adjust its volume. The key here is you'd really like all your pianos to have about the same amount of volume. Because when you go to Sinfire and you're flipping through these presets, you, you don't want to have to change volumes all the time. Whoa. Some of the notes in this one are a lot higher than others, but it's okay. We can actually end, add effects here as well. So let's say I wanted to add a compressor. Um, just really quick. Just throwing that on there. It might help even out some of the problems with the peaks so anyway uh, so I've got that now I have to go up here and go to uh, save as bank number one dash okay and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it somewhere it's really not important uh, where I put this as long as I remember where it is so let's call this sinfire bank and you can go in here and load all the instruments you think you're going to use. Um, again, I would keep it light because uh, you're going to have to do that every time you load up Sinfire. It's just kind of quiet still. But anyway, you get the point. I can go in here and make her even louder. It doesn't sound great because the notes really aren't made for uh, vocal, but whatever. For some reason, they're behind, too. 
Anyway, that's not the point of the tutorial. <laughs> so let's move on to Zebra. So we actually, the, the Yuhi Sense are really awesome for uh, working with Sinfire. The trick here is you've got this, uh, in uh, Zebra 2, you've got this directory here called MIDI Programs. Um, if I right click on this and do Open in Explorer, it'll take me right to my presets directory for Zebra. And if I open this up now, you'll see I have different folders in here uh, called Paz Leads Base Sub. Uh, each of the folders inside of this directory count as another bank, as another sound bank. So I've got uh, 001 pads. These are labeled, they're basically assigned a number alphabetically. So by prepending these, this number here, the 001, it assures that those banks won't change order if I add more later. So if I add another one, I call it like, I don't know, ARPS. If I didn't have those numbers, it would completely change the order, what numbers were assigned to these, which would mess everything up later. So it's a good idea to have those numbers on there. Um, I don't need that right now. So what you do though is inside of each of these banks is you put a bunch of patches you think you might use in Sinfire. So what I'll do here is, let's just say I'm in my chords here. And uh, let's say I just want to add another one. I think it's called Fillers. They have a sense of humor over at Yuhi. Fillers or... Anyway, we'll just try one out. I'm going to try to find one that's a lot different. Okay. So what's happening here is I'm changing the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's, let's put this back on synth bell. It's like when you're trying to tweak a knob and you just get it right exact. You're like, yeah, that sounds perfect. And you realize you aren't actually changing what you thought you were changing. It's like, man... Okay, so that's got a different sound to it. But I'll take something out of this Lutrum patch. This Lutrum bank. I don't, I don't know. How about Evolution Clouds? Alright, so that sounds pretty cool. So what we'll do is open and explore. You right click on that and you do open and explore. And I can just go... I hit copy. And uh, then I'll go over here and I'll just do paste. And I'm going to prepend this with 009 because... That will make it the next in the list. Alright, so if I go to pads now, it should show up. So the, the key here is, if you notice, if I go over to, say, the cinema, it's in a different octave. So it's very important that you go in here and make sure you set your tune. So that's in the same octave as your other patch. And then if I just hit save, it will save over top, over right. You also want to make sure your volumes are similar, again, just like we did with contact. Because that will uh, that will save you a lot of time in Sinfire. Okay? So basically, you do that for all of the patches you're going to use. Um, for the lead sound, then I'm going to use, instead of the pads directory, I just use the leads directory. I put all my leads in there. It's just a way to keep organized. You can throw everything in a single directory, but that makes it more difficult to work with later. So I, I feel like having these directories really helps out a lot. So what I did earlier is I, I just went through my, uh, my presets that I've been saving before, and I just kind of threw them in a directory. And this is always easy to expand again later. Okay, so once you've got all of your plugins set up in the MIDI programs for the Yuhi synth, um, you're really good to go in uh, Sinfire. I'll show you also Diva. Uh, Diva is similar, so you have a uh, you've got that same MIDI programs. It works exactly the same as Zebra 2. Um, I believe it's the same for uh, Botzilla, Ace. Um, what else is there? <laughs> anyway, all the Yuhi scents, which are all very good stuff. Anyway, uh, that's really it for this part of the tutorial. We're going to go back into Sinfire on the next part, and we're actually going to set these up. Catch you then. Stop recording.